Margrethe from Scandinavian today. Today I'm going to make Ebleskiver and here you see my Ebleskiver pan. I'm sure you can buy it online if you don't already have one. The Ebleskiver I'm making today, I'm going to use milk and baking powder. In the past I made some Ebleskiver where I used milk and yeast. And then I had another kind where I used buttermilk and baking powder. And of course they all taste good. So the ones I'm making today are going to have apple filling in them, which is a little bit different. Hopefully you'll also enjoy those. So let's get going. Here we have all the ingredients for my apple skewer today. And I'm using one cup of flour and two tablespoons of butter. The butter I'm going to milk and add to the batter of the apple skewer. Here I have one and a half teaspoons of sugar. I have half a teaspoon of baking powder a quarter teaspoon of salt, and finally half a teaspoon of cardamom. Then I have two large eggs. I have a cup full of milk. Besides that, I also have the apples. I'm going to peel them, slice them, and cook them in a little butter with cinnamon and uh, cardamom. And uh, they're going to, and then a pinch of salt perhaps, if you like it, you don't need to and then I'm going to put them in uh, inside the ap apple skewer and of course you can find the complete recipe on our blog. So I'm going to separate the eggs because I'm going to whip the egg whites. And then I'm going to pour in the milk and mix it up. And also I'm going to add the melted butter. And then here I'm going to add the flour. And of course I already have uh, the baking powder, spices and so on in here. So just mix it up. And the egg whites I'm going to whip with my electric mixer. And of course, I then I'm going to mix it in, in the other mixture after. So I'm going to mix the whipped egg whites into the Ebley Skiver bag. Take some of it first. And here I'm melting the butter in the Ebley Skiver pan. The rest of it. And of course, I want to make sure that the Ibli Skiri pan is hot and bubbly when I put the batter in. Here you see my apple sauce, which I'm going to put in the apple skewer. One tablespoon of in here. Put about a teaspoon of apple sauce inside. Okay. Press it down a little bit. And then I put a little bit more of the bed on top of there, just to cover up the apple sauce. And I'll turn it down a little bit. It's not too high. And it takes a couple of minutes. And of course, I always like to use a knitting pin when I have to turn them. But I want to make sure they're brown in the edges before I turn. And they are ready now to be turned over. See that? Not too brown, but a little bit. And I'm 
this big and then on the other side. And of course if you like to, you can just make sure they are brown on the other side as well and then if you want to you can put them in the oven and finish baking them there while you're doing another pan. And you can turn them over to check, make sure they are done on the other side. So that's what I'm doing now. Of course you don't want them to get burned. But still nicely brown. So here we have a nice tray or a nice plate full of heavy skewer filled with apples. And of course you always want to sprinkle a little powdered sugar on top. Since we have apples in those, uh, you might even want a little bit of cinnamon on top too. So you could mix the sugar with the cinnamon, but it's up to what you feel like. Okay, so let me slice one open so you can see I have apple filling in there. And of course, uh, our Ible skewer freeze really well, so just stick them in the freezer and you can bake them ahead of time. If you're going to have a party, make them several days ahead and freeze them and you're all ready to go. So now I have to taste my Ible skewer with apple filling. I also dipped it in sugar because I do like the crunchiness of the sugar. So let's have a bite. Yes, it tastes very, very good. I like it a lot. And also, of course, a cup of coffee goes well with Epple Skewer. So scroll and enjoy, and please subscribe to our channel. You can find the complete recipe on, on our blog. See you another day. Bye. And of course, I have to share Epple Skewer with my dog, Harry. He loves them just as much as we do. Of course, I cannot give him too many, but he likes it a lot too, so why not? That was so good, wasn't it, Harry? Oh, yes.